sure. to see how things are going rather than stay home and get bigger than I already am. <laughs> Just to come down and shoot the breeze. I've been a guide here in Niagara Falls for 15 years. Have you spoken to Homeland Security? Did they interview you at all? Yes, the FBI came into my house. I gave them a statement. And then finally, uh, but before I gave them a statement, because I gave the officer my license, and he said, you know, I said, if I can help you, he took my license, my name and number. I'm seeing all this stuff on the news that was inaccurate. And the news had already called me, but then they just called. I just had an interview with them. They came to my house maybe 35, 40 minutes ago. Can you say your first and last name again? Ricky, R-I-C-K-I-E Wilson. And that was the FBI that interviewed Yes. You. Okay, thank you, sir. They didn't say not to talk to anybody, but I'm seeing all this stuff that's inaccurate. This is exactly what I saw. There is cameras. I informed them on some of the, the one Niagara inside, and they should be able to play footage back. But that's that's what I've seen. I mean, given all your years being a tour guide down here, is this just unlike anything you've ever seen? Uh, yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Other than we get people from all over the world and they use some interesting stuff, but we love it. Yep, 15 years. So I'm glad I could help you guys out. There was only two witnesses that I know of, me and this other guy, but there were two other fellas there. I think they were from Turkey, and they were saying they were seeing somebody kept circling, uh, going in circles, perhaps arguing with somebody in a car. I don't know. All I seen is it go through the air. And, and it was uh, definitely on this side of the border. It was on this like... side, yes, sir. Yes, yeah. it was. Right right over there by the light, it hit that cement thing. Um, I'm assuming it hit the cement because I've seen all the debris, but I mean, how did it get up there? I mean, this thing was up in the air. It's, I, I know it sounds like I'm crazy, but it, the car was airborne. And not three or four feet, I mean up there. Ricky, the fact that this is all happening, you know, the day before Thanksgiving, busiest travel day, you know, one of them of the year, does that make this a little bit harder? When people don't know what's going on, of course. That's why I'm down here, to tell you exactly what I've seen. This was, I don't know what happened. All I know is that vehicle was uh, 10, 15 feet in the air before it hit the building. And probably right by that, somewhere around that light. It just, it's just hard to believe. It's just, you know, I have no reason to make anything up or anything. It's a miracle I'm doing this well in front of all these cameras. Of course, I was a disc jockey years ago, but that's another story. Anything else I can no, answer for anything you? Else? I don't know. It, it, got, it, got to the, it got to the border, and there's an overhead thing. And by that time, the vehicle started to come down, and it went underneath it. It had to have, because it would have taken that out. And then it kind of like disappeared out of range a little bit, but I know it it just beyond that, it hit one of the things where the security officers are. And just I'm just thanking God for answered prayer that none of the the border patrol guys, one fellow I heard was injured, but yeah. I'm only here to let you know the facts of what really happened, what what I saw. Thank you. Thank you. We're glad you're okay and you're safe. Yes, I do. I'm on uh, 8,000 Porter Road, Lot 6, Niagara Falls, New York. So that were inaccurate media reports. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.